4.2a, probability and plotting points, basic probability. Probability is the chance an event will occur. Basic probability can be written as a fraction. The way we write this as a fraction is we put the number of what we want and we place that over the total number of possibilities. We will look at this in example one. Example one asks, a bag contains three blue marbles, two red marbles, and one green marble. If you were to draw one marble at random, what is the probability of drawing? And then three possibilities are listed. We will look at each of these possibilities separately. We must first, in a probability problem, determine the total. Since there are three blue marbles, two red marbles, and one green marble, we can add these up to find the total number of marbles. The total number of marbles is therefore six. This number six will be the denominator in all of our problems. We now look at the first question. What is the probability of drawing a blue marble? We must go back to the question and determine how many blue marbles there are. We see that there are three blue marbles. Remember, what we are looking for goes in the numerator, or the three goes in the numerator. We now put this over the total number of marbles, which we calculated to be six. Remember, whenever you have a fraction, you must always reduce, even when the directions do not specifically state. This reduces to one half, which means there's a probability of one out of two of drawing a blue marble. The next question asks us about a red marble. We then must look and determine how many red marbles there are in the bag. Since there are two red marbles, we have two possibilities of getting what we want. Secondly, we put it over the total number of marbles in the bag, which we have calculated to be six. Once again, you must always reduce your fraction. This means that we would get one third, or a probability of one out of three of drawing a red marble. The final example asks us to determine a black marble. If you read in the directions, there were no black marbles in the bag which means that there are zero possibilities of drawing a black marble out of six. When we reduce this fraction, we find that the probability of drawing a black marble is zero. In example two, it asks, if you roll a standard six-sided die, what is the probability you roll and then list possibilities? We must first address what a standard six-sided die is. This means that it is a die, or dice, that has six sides. Each of the sides has a number. The numbers on a standard six-sided die are numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are the possible sides. Therefore, we have a total of six possibilities. We must then look at the first question. What is the probability we roll a three? As you can see, there's only one three on a standard six-sided die, which means there's one possibility out of the total of six possibilities. This fraction does not reduce, and therefore the probability is one in six. The next question asks us, The next question asks us to just determine if it is an even number what the probability would be. 
Once again, we see how many even numbers we have, which would be the numbers 2, 4, and 6. This means that we have the possibility of drawing, of rolling three sides out of the total sides being 6. This fraction does reduce, and therefore we must reduce it. It reduces to 1 half. Therefore, the probability of rolling an even number would be 1 out of 2. The third question asks that a number smaller than 3. We must determine which numbers are smaller than 3. Since it did not say it could be 3, but that it must be smaller than 3, the only possibilities are 1 and 2. Therefore, we have two possibilities out of the total sides being 6. Once again, remember to reduce, which we get 1 third. So the probability of getting a number smaller than 3 is 1 third. And finally, it asks, what is the probability of rolling a 7? As you can see, there are no 7s. Since there are no 7s, there are zero possibilities of rolling a 7 out of the 6 total possibilities. You therefore get a probability of 0. Remember, when doing probability, you must first start by finding the total number of possibilities. After you know the total number of possibilities, you see what the question is asking. You then find how many number of times that that event can occur. You then put this as your numerator, such as seen in number one, that there was one three possible. We then put in the denominator the total number of possibilities, which was six. You then must remember to always reduce.